A surprising new statement from the wife of Bill Cosby addressing the parade of accusations against her husband, the allegations of sexual assault. This is part of the statement. It says, a different man has been portrayed in the media over the last two months. It is the portrait of a man I do not know. It is also a portrait painted by individuals and organizations whom many in the media have given a pass. There appears to be no vetting of my husband's accusers before stories are published or aired. An accusation is published and immediately goes viral. In this statement, she also compared what's happening to her husband to the UVA story, the Rolling Stone article that there are so many questions about now. I'm joined now by attorney and radio host Mo Ivory, along with our legal analyst Mel Robbins. And Mo, generally speaking, when you run out of other options, you attack the press. Uh, is that simply what's going on here? What do you make of this statement from Mrs. Cosby? Well, first I want to say I'm not really sure it's her statement. You know, we don't know that those are actually her words or the words that were made up by the lawyers that, you know, wanted to put something out uh, for, you know, a, a response. But, you know, I, I really think that that is a, a woman who's been married to a man standing by her husband. She's been married to him for 50 years. And those are, to me, statements that say, I don't necessarily know this person that everybody is talking about. I think he's receiving unfair treatment in the media, which many people have said. They thought uh, people who uh, do not believe the allegations and say that they think Bill Cosby is being attacked in the media. So I wouldn't really expect her as the wife um, of Bill Cosby to really say much else. But I think it's important to point out that she did not say he did not do it. And I think if you read the statement, you know, really get into it, I think there's no admission or denial that these um, allegations are true or false, but merely a statement by her saying that, you know, she thinks her husband is being treated unfairly. Mel, you, like Mo, are a lawyer. Should she have said somewhere in that note, or how would it have changed things in this statement if she had said, he didn't do this, he didn't do any of this? Well, you know, John, good morning. Good morning, Mo. It's an excellent question. I think that this is a very benign statement. And from a legal standpoint, there's no allegation that she was a witness or had any knowledge to the allegations that Bill Cosby raped over 20 women. So her opinion about the entire thing, as far as I'm concerned, is immaterial from a legal standpoint. What I find fascinating, John, and I'm sure everybody at home is kind of thinking the same thing, and that is what would make a wife actually want to say something at all? And so I've taken a step back and I've thought, OK, because this reminds me a little bit of Sandusky's wife. Remember the guy in the Penn mm. State mm -hmm. scandal who's now serving time behind bars? She still thinks her husband is innocent. She still thinks that all of those victims that came forward and testified were lying. And so if you are in a relationship with somebody who turns out to be a monster, you've got one of two choices. You either continue to live in a state of denial, in which mm. case your only choice is to defend the person, or you do the much harder and courageous thing, which is to face the truth. And you know, sure. the truth is we don't know what's going on behind closed doors in their marriage. They might have right. a very transactional relationship like the Sterling said. Remember, Mrs. Sterling said they'd been right. married for 30 years, hadn't shared a bedroom. It wasn't emotional. It was business. There's a lot of money involved in this relationship. Yeah, Bill and now, Cosby, what, what we do, yeah, I, I think that is such an important point because what we do know about the Cosby marriage is that Camille was aware that there were sexual allegations brought against him in 2006 when he settled with a woman in court. And there were other women who came to support those allegations that that Temple basketball coach um, alleged against him and that she received a settlement. So this is not brand new to Camille. And Camille has also said in many interviews that she has lived with a man who has been, you know, um, oh, you know, has cheated on her before, has not always been true to their marriage. And she has chosen as a wife, as a spouse to stay with him. So I don't think that we um, can discount that she's not a woman that has not in the past acknowledged that her marriage to Bill Cosby has had its share of problems. No, it, it, you know, it's safe to say we do not know what is going on in their marriage behind closed doors and whatever right. relationship they truly have or conversations they truly have. We can suspect, though, a point that Mo brought up at the beginning here, that this statement did not go out without the full knowledge and approval and vetting of lawyers, probably the right. full knowledge and approval and vetting of public relations officials. Mm -hmm. So what end then, Mel, I'll ask you, what end does it serve? Well, I think it serves to try to address this consistent outcry, John, of a statement from Bill Cosby. And I'm actually, frankly, surprised that they release this because, first of all, she's the wife. 
she uh, nobody has any reason to believe her. Secondly, to say the UVA that this is like the UVA uh, case with the Rolling Stones. There's a very big difference here. Rolling Stone never reached out to the alleged attackers. The media has been asking Bill Cosby every single day to make him a, a statement. And guess what? He's refusing to talk about it. So yeah. I don't think that this is a good legal move. I don't think anybody buys what she has to say. And I think if I were Bill Cosby's lawyer, I would tell them both to keep their mouths shut. Mel Robbins, Mo Ivory, thank you so much for being with us. Really appreciate your comments.